Ever wondered why your car seems to lose power during acceleration? Well, you're not alone. Hey everyone, it's Josh here. Today I want to tackle the frustrating issue of experiencing a lack of power during acceleration. Whether you're struggling to pick up speed from a stop sign or noticing sluggishness when hitting the gas, this problem can stem from various underlying issues. In this comprehensive guide, I'll break down the potential causes behind this common problem and offer my insights on diagnosing the main cause for yours and how to resolve them. We will look at the whys, troubleshooting codes, and how to resolve or fix the issue. When your car's power reduces, it could be due to several reasons, some of which are easier to identify because they trigger a check engine light. And when the check engine light is triggered, it is left for you to figure out what the light is warning you about. So stick around to understand the science behind this annoying problem. Here are a few reasons why your car may be losing power is not accelerating when you push the gas. One of the primary culprits behind power loss is cylinder misfires. A misfire occurs when one or more of your engine's cylinders fail to ignite the fuel-air mixture as expected. This disruption in the combustion process can result in a noticeable lack of power and may even trigger your vehicle's check engine light. Cylinder misfires can be caused by a variety of issues including faulty spark plugs, worn-out spark plug wires, a failing ignition coil, or even a poor quality fuel. The key is that when a cylinder doesn't fire properly, the engine's balance and efficiency are compromised, and you'll likely notice a significant drop in performance. Now you might be wondering, how do I know if I have a cylinder misfire? Well, aside from a noticeable lack of power and perhaps a rough idle, one of the easiest ways to identify a misfire is through the use of an onboard diagnostics or OBD scanner. This handy tool can read trouble codes from your vehicle's computer, which can give you a clear indication of where the problem lies. When a cylinder misfire occurs, it usually triggers a specific diagnostic trouble code, or DTC. These codes start with the letter P, followed by a zero, and then a three-digit number. For misfires, you're looking for codes in the P0300 range. The last digit of the code corresponds to the cylinder that's misfiring. For example, a P0301 code indicates a misfire in cylinder 1, P0302 would mean a misfire in cylinder 2, and so on. The point is these codes can help you pinpoint exactly which cylinder is causing the problem, which can be a huge help when it comes to diagnosing and resolving the issue. But remember, while these codes can be incredibly helpful, they're just one piece of the puzzle. It's always a good idea to look at the bigger picture, Consider all the symptoms and perform a thorough diagnosis before jumping to conclusions. Remember, the number after the P0-3-0 code sequence indicates the affected cylinder. Armed with this information, you're one step closer to getting your vehicle back to its peak performance. Another major cause of power loss is a lack of cylinder compression. Now you might be wondering, what exactly is cylinder compression? In simple terms, it's the pressure built up within the cylinder as the piston moves up in the compression stroke. This pressure is crucial as it helps ignite the air-fuel mixture powering your car. So, how does reduced compression lead to power loss? Picture this. When your car's cylinder doesn't have enough compression, it's like trying to play basketball with a deflated ball. The energy just isn't there. Similarly, when a cylinder can't build enough pressure, the air-fuel mixture can't ignite properly, leading to a significant drop in power. Now, what causes a lack of cylinder compression? The culprits are often worn piston rings or head gasket leaks. These issues allow air to escape during the compression stroke, reducing the amount of pressure that can be built up. It's like having a slow puncture in your basketball. You can still play, but it's far from optimal. Unfortunately, unlike cylinder misfires, a lack of compression might not always trigger a check engine light. This means you'll need to be a bit of a detective looking out for other signs of trouble. For instance, if you notice smoke coming from the exhaust or oil in the coolant, these could be telltale signs of compression issues. So how do you resolve this issue? Well, to diagnose a lack of compression, you'll need a compression tester. This handy tool measures the pressure in the cylinders, helping you identify if any are underperforming. If you find a problem, it's usually best to take your car to a professional. They can assess whether the issue lies with the piston rings or head gasket and carry out the necessary repairs. Remember, maintaining good cylinder compression is vital for your car's performance. It's the driving force behind that smooth acceleration you love so much. So don't ignore the signs. Look out for signs like smoke from the exhaust or oil in the coolant. They might indicate compression issues. A clogged catalytic converter can also hamper your car's acceleration. 
Now you might be wondering what exactly is a catalytic converter? Well, it's a device in your car's exhaust system that converts harmful pollutants into less harmful emissions before they leave your car's system. Think of it as a kind of environmental gatekeeper. It's crucial for reducing the environmental impact of your vehicle. But like any part of a complex machine, it can run into problems. In this case, we're talking about when it gets clogged. So how does a catalytic converter get clogged? Well, there are a few ways. It could be due to unburned fuel particles, oil or coolant entering the exhaust system, or simply the result of normal wear and tear over time. When your converter gets clogged, it restricts the flow of exhaust gases. This makes your engine work harder, which can lead to a significant power loss. So how can you tell if your catalytic converter is the culprit behind your car's lack of power? This is where your oxygen sensors come into play. These sensors are located before and after the catalytic converter in the exhaust system. They measure the level of oxygen in the exhaust gases, providing valuable data to your car's computer. When your catalytic converter is clogged, the readings from these sensors can be abnormal. This is because the restricted flow of exhaust gases impacts the oxygen levels in the system. Your car's computer, in turn, may trigger the check engine light and generate specific trouble codes related to the catalytic converter or oxygen sensors. These codes can be read with an OBD scanner. If you're seeing codes like P0420 or P0430, you might be looking at a problem with your catalytic converter. As always, it's best to consult with a trusted mechanic to be sure. Remember, abnormal readings from your oxygen sensors could indicate a clogged catalytic converter. It's all about understanding the signs and knowing how to interpret them. So, keep an eye on those sensor readings and stay ahead of potential issues. Your car and your peace of mind will thank you for it. So, we've discussed the three main causes of power loss during acceleration. From the sneaky cylinder misfires, signaled by those troublesome check engine lights, to the less visible but impactful lack of cylinder compression, and not forgetting the potentially clogged catalytic converter, restricting your engine's exhaust flow. Each issue has its unique symptoms, and diagnosing them requires a keen eye and a little know-how. With this knowledge, you're now equipped to diagnose and address power loss in your vehicle. Drive safe.